Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's explore gradient filter. So I've got this uh, model, which is a sample file called JToad. And uh, you could see it's uh, just a, a random um, material I've created, which is having some gold sort of flakes with some nice blue base material. So here uh, I could see that, uh, I mean, we have two different types of materials and just controlled by just single slider. So I'll, I'll talk about the gradient filter and at the same time I'll be using, I'll be showing the workflow how I've achieved uh, this uh, material, okay? Uh, so it's a single layer material, so I'll be deleting this layer to fresh start. Um, so I started with the fill layer here and uh, in fill layer you have uh, uh, all different uh, uh, inputs, okay? So I'm going to switch off everything and we got the base material. And I can start taking any one of this grunges so that you could see that grunge on top of this model. Okay, that looks good. Uh, but actually, I would uh, preferably take uh, that on a separate layer. Let's see that way. So I'll bring it back and then add a new uh, fill. Okay, so make sure that you are in the base color. And then in the fill, I'll be adding this uh, grunge map. Uh, you can take any one of these grunge maps. And I'm going to switch off uh, all these options here. Just uh, it's in the color. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a anchor point on top of it, just uh, this one. And then I'll just uh, name it texture 001. And uh, this is going to be referred uh, with other textures. So, so this is our base texture, okay? And uh, I've put an anchor point so that I can retarget it anywhere I want it. And the first thing is uh, I wanted a change of color for the base. So I'm going to add a a filter on top of it and in the filter I'm going to choose uh, the gradient okay gradient has got a uh, number of color inputs right now I've got three color inputs so I can remap the midtones uh, the highlights and the shadows with something else so I've got three inputs right now fair enough so I'm going to take a, a blue color okay which I've shown you and for the highlights I'm going to take a gold color midtones uh, I'm going to take only two inputs here okay and then that should not uh, confuse us. So I've got these two colors. Now, uh, I want a very similar input to be connected to the height and also to the metallic. So how I did is I've taken a new uh, fill layer and then I've switched off all the options uh, except height. And in the height, I've taken the anchor point, texture 01, and our referred channel is the base. Now I should be able to see that height is achieved. If I go to my fill and then do any changes to that, uh, it is affecting to the color as well as uh, to the height. Okay, that's really nice. Now I'm going to take another fill layer and this time I'm going to choose the metal here. And uh, in that I'm going to take the anchor point texture. Okay, and then referred channel is the base color. And you should be able to see that nice metal happening there. Okay, anytime I can just go here and then adjust that and it's totally gold. And I, I'm, I'm just doing it with single uh, input so gradient uh, texture is uh, basically remapping colors and i thought to add more value to it just by connecting this way and uh, hope you liked it and uh, what i would like to do is i would like to select the fill and then we got this input right i can start plugging any of this texture here and uh, i can repeat them and uh, things will work and it's it's just single input okay now uh, we have a uh, lot of textures and uh, yeah, you can explore all of them. There are some uh, limitations to this and uh, uh, limitations are like, uh, again, um, I can't really control the amount of uh, things what have got here except these levels which I can generally use to uh, remap things, okay? Uh, beyond that, I don't have any control on uh, these things. That's one thing about this uh, input, okay? So let me go to the fill and then change the texture. And then this is reflection related, so I can just, you should be able to see that I'm, I'm just playing with the bump and then the reflection amount. So you can uh, play with uh, this texture 
and the contrast you can plug uh, whichever texture you wanted there and sky is the limit okay 